Well, after some up and down form in the league, I'm giving it one more game before we go back to basics. I just really don't know about this 5-4-1. I, I, we're not creating enough chances, so perhaps it's time to go a bit more attacking. But today's matches, we really should be winning. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2018 and part 3 of Hammers Unite. And in today's episode, we have two matches. One against Southampton away from home and then against newly promoted Fulham um, at home. Fulham are 19th in the league, Southampton in 8th. So maybe we shouldn't be looking to, to win that game per se, but uh, at least compete in it. I think, but um, since you were last with us, we've been in okay form against Arsenal. We were very unlucky to go down to a 94th minute um, winner to Aubameyang. I mean, there was only two minutes at a time. It was absolutely disgraceful, I would say, um, that that was allowed to go into the 94th minute. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, we equalised ourselves in the 91st minute, so I, I guess we can't complain too much. But uh, Leeds, uh, another disappointing performance, really. 1-1 uh, um, at full t uh, at 90 minutes, and then we, we had to go into extra time. Yarmolenko and, and Balbuena getting goals uh, to see us over the line, and, and we're playing Chelsea in the next round. So I'd rather we went out to be honest, because we're, we're going to get thumped by Chelsea. And then we played Liverpool in the league, and I, again, we were quite disappointing, um, especially because Liverpool were down to 10 men for most of the match. So we should have probably done better, especially being at home. And that's may, maybe what's got me thinking about going back to basics, going uh, just a simple 4 2 3 1 or something like that, and, and try and play to our strengths a little bit. But. Uh, We'll give it one more match because, you know, before today's episode, I had a look at the the fixtures and I thought, you know what, it's not that bad a start, is it? But uh, we'll see. I mean, the the teams we've lost against were meant to lose against. So so who knows? Who knows? This is the team that we are going to go for today. Uh, we are 11th in the league, but not much meaning can be took out of six games. Uh, Fabianski will start and go with Zabaleta, Reed, Balbuena, Ogbonna and uh, Cresswell in defence. We've then got Antonio, Obiang, uh, Toure and Arnautovic in the middle and Huggle starting up top. Um, yeah, that's what we want. For some reason, the... Uh, the formation was different. Really don't know why, but there we go. That's uh, the one we're going to go for today. <sighs> Man United have already beaten Everton 4-0. Pretty decent performance from them. Let's see how we do against Southampton. Now, away from home, I really don't know how to feel about this game. Obviously, Southampton were a team that, that struggled last year in the league. Um... You know, they looked like they were they were going to get relegated and then Mark Hughes somehow saved them. But um, they, they've had a good start this season. Ten points from uh, six six games, which is which is pretty decent. So we'll be open to uh, somehow put a stop to their decent start. They, they've only actually won two matches, but drawn four. Typical Mark Hughes side, draw specialists. Only lost one, so it is going to be... A really tough match today, but um, you, you see, we're just not creating enough chances, and that's what's making me think. Well, maybe we should scrap this five at the back nonsense and 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 try and go for it a bit more. But then, you know, defensively, we haven't been too bad either. Um, <clears throat> we have got a bit of a injury crisis, if you like. Um, I think Hernandez is injured for a few weeks, so. We are we are struggling uh, striker wise, and I am going to change things at half time. We are going to bring the the four two three one in effect. Uh, we're going to go attacking and structured. Uh, actually, no, we'll go counter and structured. Actually, uh, Balbuena is going to be the man to come off. Um, who do we put on? Fernandez, perhaps. We'll put in Fernandez. That seems good to me. Yeah. We'll go with that. <sighs> Come on. 45 minutes to, to really play a nice game in the second half and and show why we should be using this 4-2-3-1. I mean, that is just terrible. Another set piece that we concede from. And again, it's a case of... 
multiple players around the ball, and I mean that is poor, really poor to concede. But we, we just don't look like we're we're going to get back into it at all. We've had one shot, or oh, well, we've all of a sudden had three. Here's a, a set piece for us, Fernandez to Antonio. Come on, Obiang with a shot, and that's just wide. But that's the sort of brilliance we need. At the moment, Jorgensen's going to come on for the last uh, 30 minutes or so, and hopefully he can do something. Um, Antonio's going to come off as well. We're going to put Yarmolenko on there. That looks good to me. And, and all of a sudden, hopefully, we're going to spring into life with the substitutes. Here's Cresswell. Cresswell to Fernandez now. Fernandez loses it along. He has Ward Prowse, gets it forward. But uh, Ogbonna's there. Ogbonna, now to Reed. Come on, Yarmolenko. He's pushing forward. He's lost it now. Fernandez. We are getting gradually forward here. Yaya Toure to Obiang. Now to Yarmolenko. It's just rubbish, absolute rubbish. How do you expect to start a game for me when you you just can't keep the ball? And now they're pushing forward. Forward Romeo, and and now he has. Long into the middle, and Gabby Adini gets his second, and an assist by Shane Long on that right hand side, and that is just god awful. It really is just defensively shocking at the moment. And it had to be right in front of the West Ham fans, and you know, surely after seven games, they'll be questioning my future. Yarmolenko's injured. How brilliant is that? Fernandez can go on the right hand side. Absolutely atrocious. We'll go for that. Unbelievable. Ten minutes to go, and we haven't looked a threat at all, to be honest with you. Uh, we had that set piece. That was about our best chance, the, the shot from Obiang from outside the, the box, but we're just looking really, really shocking. So. You know, back to basics. I think that's what we're gonna, we're gonna have to go for. Um, we need to turn something around and and home against Fulham. That's the place to do it. Well, after an international break, we are now making a few changes to freshen up the squad a little bit. Uh, we're going with a four-two-three-one from the start on attacking and structured. Changed a couple of the team instructions. Um, we're gonna have a higher tempo. Um, I'm also going to exploit the wings and look for overlap. So, yeah. Um, I think Jorgensen has to come in. Actually. <laughs> um, and uh, Mario's come in behind the striker. Jack Wilsh has returned from injury, which is great. Uh, a good addition to the squad. And uh, this guy, Haksa Banovic, uh, comes in. He's He came in for 2.7 um, million. He's going to coming on this left hand side and and hopefully he can do a good job um i mean look at a delight maybe delight is is a guy to come in perhaps uh let's bring him in for ogbonna today and see how he does let's get into it come on west ham Let's try and win this one. Fulham, obviously newly promoted. Nice to see them back in the Premier League. Uh, they're playing a, a very defensive formation. Christmas tree here. And, and then just three guys up top. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be tough to break them down. But it's a good test of this tactic. It's something that's worked well in, in the journeyman for me and, and obviously in the World Cup challenge before that where uh, we actually got the final with Denmark. So it's it's a tactic that's worked well for me this year. Let's see if it works well with West Ham um, today. So Bournemouth having a very good season so far as a Southampton who obviously beat us in the last game. They've got a game in hand and, and, and could well move up to fifth. Here's Seri now Rui Fonte. That's forward to Seri and that's just wide, thank goodness. But Fulham looking dangerous there, although, you know, generally looking at the stats so far, we've maybe had the better of the game, although they seem to have more possession. Uh, 35 minutes gone. Again, not much happening in the way of us creating chances. It's just the way it's happening at the moment. Callas 
gets it forward. What a ball that is towards Fonte. Oh, I don't know what Fabianski was doing there. That was really, really poor goalkeeping. McDonald. Cissé. Now Seri. Cabano. Here's Rui Fonte. Gets it forward. Well, luckily, the number 10 didn't quite read it. But again, they're just pushing us further and further back. Cabano now. Forward to Rui Fonte. It feels like a goal's coming. McDonald. We've got it back. Here's Cresswell. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, my goodness me. How did Rui Fonte miss that? <laughs> but that was absolutely terrible from us there. Here's Fabianski. Building from the back. Reed to Zabaleta. Now to Antonio. We're moving forward with some velocity here. But again, just not a, not a good ball forward. Here's Delight. Now Haskabanovic. Wilshire. Mario. Gets it wide, Antonio. This is a chance. Antonio into the middle. Jorgensen's there. And he gets his second goal of the season with a powering header into the top corner. Against the run of play, you would have to say. We've gone 1-0 up. Um, a good ball from uh, Mario initially. A good cross into the middle from Antonio. And it is 1-0. That is exactly what we needed. Come on. Come on, the Irons. Into the top ten now. As it stands, which should, you know, we I think we'd take at the end of the season top 10. So, yeah, don't get complacent out there. I mean, look at this. Look at the clip of this. Right. Um, Sam Byram, you're going to come on for Paolo Zabaleta in the second. Oh, he's an attacking. I, I do like an attacking fullback. Let's go for that. Um, Cresswell hasn't had the best of games either, but we don't really have a. Full time left back on the on the bench, so um, I think Hak Sabanovic isn't having a good game, but we'll keep with him for now. Here's Wilshire gets it in towards Toure. What a goal that is! What a fantastic goal! From Yaya Toure. What a free kick from Wilshire as well. Dead ball situation. And Yaya Toure was there. And on the volley into the top right corner. 2-0. That is absolutely fantastic. Jorgensen's injured. We need to bring him off. Uh, so we'll put Huggle in there. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll play him as a target man. He hasn't really been doing anything as a defensive forward. Which, you know, perhaps in a, a sort of one striker formation that... That doesn't really work, so we'll put him in as a target man, see if he does any better. Here's Byram, now Wilshire to Byram again. It was a good cross, but nobody there. Wilshire, Mario, Wilshire again. Mario, forward to Haskabanovic. Now here's Wilshire, pushing back. Toure to Mario. Haxa, oh, whoever it is. <laughs> what a shot, good save by Bettinelli there. Now here's Woodrow. Kearney, come on, Woodrow, Seri, Woodrow again, that's forward to Cabano, good save by Fabianski there, we're going to go counter-attacking now, and try and hold on to this uh, victory, Jack Welsh is feeling pretty tired, so we're going to bring him off, we're going to put on Mark Noble, swap them two round, it's usually a good substitution to make, 10 minutes to go, and it'll be a good three points to hold on to and, and maybe some justification of going for this tactic. And uh, and hopefully it's something that we can stick with. Toure with the free kick forward to Delight. Huggle. Now Noble it's away and that's full time. But we've got the three points into the bag. Uh, and we are into the top ten in the Premier League which is absolutely fantastic. So we've made up... For a poor performance against Southampton, we went back to basics with a 4-2-3-1 and we've come out with a win and a clean sheet. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.